Nothing like a good glass of the finest elven fire water, eh, Lord Grimstaff? You're right there, Sir Mortimus. <laughs> Who'd have thought back when we were just first level we'd be all sitting here drinking elven fire water? Aye, in them days we'd have been glad to have the price of goblin spittle brew. Cup of cold goblin spittle brew. Ha ha ha, in a filthy cracked cup. We never used to have a cup. We used to have to drink out of an ogre's boot. An ogre's boot? The best we could manage was to suck at the troll's loincloth. <laughs> but you know, we were happy in those days, though we were low-level adventurers. Aye, because we were low-level. My old dad used to say to me, gold doesn't buy you happiness. He was right. I was happier then, and I had nothing. We used to live in this tiny old house with great big holes in the roof. A house? You were lucky to have a house. We used to live in one room, all 126 of us. No furniture, half the floor missing. We're all huddled together in one corner for fear of falling into a bottomless pit. You were lucky to have a room. We used to have to live in a dungeon corridor. Oh, we used to dream of living in a dungeon corridor. Would have been a palace to us. We used to live in an old crypt in a haunted graveyard. We got woken up every morning by zombies trying to eat our brains. Dungeon! <laughs> well, when I say dungeon, it was only an old hole in the ground covered by a piece of cloth, but it was a home to us. We were evicted from our hole in the ground. We had to go and live in the lake. You were lucky to have a lake. There were 160 of us living in a small puddle in the middle of the road. Lucky, lucky, lucky. We lived for three months in a used wineskin in a cobalt lavatory. We used to have to get up at six o'clock in the morning, eat a crust of stale bread, go to work down the dungeon for 14 hours a day, week in, week out, and come home, only to be robbed blind by a gang of bandits. Luxury! We used to have to get out of the puddle at three o'clock in the morning, clean the puddle, eat a handful of hot gravel, go to work at the dungeon every day for two copper a month if we were lucky. Well, we had it tough. We used to have to get up out of the wineskin at 12 o'clock at night and lick the road clean with our tongs. We had half a handful of freezing cold gravel, worked 24 hours a day at the dungeon for four coppers every six years, and when we go home, we kill to death with a scimitar. Right. I had to get up in the morning at ten o'clock at night, half an hour before I went to bed, drink a cup of sulfuric acid, work for 29 hours a day down the dungeon, and pay the dungeon master for permission to come to work, and when we got home, bandits would kill us and dance about on our graves singing hallelujah. Mm, but you try and tell the low-level adventurers today that, and they won't believe you. Nope, nope. 